You won't believe what I discovered about Big Pharma, and this is connected to the $110 billion annual diabetes industry. Have you heard the conspiracy about Big Pharma's involvement in diabetes? Are they really in it for our health, or there's more to the story? So there's this wild talk going around that Big Pharma rakes in a crazy $110 billion each year from diabetes. Do you think they'd want to shut that down? Definitely not. According to Gary Brecka, if someone asked him to design a diet to make sure they get diabetes, he'd just head straight to the American Diabetic Association website. He'd grab their diet guidelines, shoot them over to the person, and that's it. It is said that if you go to the said website, foods like a bowl of oatmeal, glass of orange juice, with natural honey and crushed brown sugar, are being recommended to type 2 diabetic patients. If you know anything about diet, you'd know that there is zero protein and fat in all these listed foods. It's all high glycemic carbohydrates. The question is, what happens when you follow such a diet? Your blood sugar spikes. If your blood sugar spikes, what do you need? Insulin. It's an insulin dependency diet. It's perfect. It's like breaking into your house on Friday night, then showing up Saturday morning to sell you a security system. Talk about a perfect setup, right? It's like they planned the whole thing. This diet seems to create a loop where you end up relying on insulin, making you wonder if it's more about keeping you hooked on the treatment than actually helping you beat diabetes. It's like a puzzle that makes you question if the folks giving the advice have your best interests at heart. One thing that is obvious is that there's more to the story, and we're just getting started on finding out what's really going on. We're just scratching the surface. Despite our medical and technology advancements, there is still a high and increasing rate in these diseases. This is because pharmaceutical companies are solely concerned with companies. They only care about increasing their profits and care less about people's lives. By the way, Archie Coyle's PEMF therapy has a frequency designed to support your body's natural ability to manage blood sugar. Note by soothing note. What do you think about this conspiracy? Share your thoughts with us in the comment section.